Welcome to Malaysia. Now we're going to do a transit for our flight. KLM to Amsterdam later on this evening. So we just arrived here at about gate C31. So it doesn't look like we have to change terminals or anything like that. Uh, we came from a Bangkok Airlines flight and we're going to be connecting to a KLM flight to Amsterdam. And it's leaving from gate C2. So that'll obviously be down in this direction. It's our flight. Is it on the board? No. It's too early for that, right? Cozy place. And that looks like the KLM crew down there. But we just came in without lights. So we're heading down to our gate, gate C2. We've got a good pace here. So there's a long line to get into gate C2, I can see. Let's take the rolling escalator. There's the train. We're gonna have to pass through security control before we get into the lounge gate area. There's a lot of people ahead. So, let's join the back of the queue. So there's our KLM Boeing 777, taking us to Amsterdam tonight. Windows are a bit dirty, so I'm going to zoom very slowly. So I can sort of get a view of the aircraft. We wish you a pleasant flight to Amsterdam. Thank you. Yep, those are my feet you can hear flopping on the floor. There's our aircraft. It's a little bit dark so we're not going to be seeing much. Some newspapers off it. Looks like there's Wi Fi on board, but probably not for normal passengers. Thank you. Hello. 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 It's an economy class, KLM. Aircraft, the other is. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, blankets. Looks like wider seats in there. This is Wi-Fi on board, I'm betting you have to pay for it. We should have the very back seats. What numbers were they? What were the numbers? Really? Lovely. That's our seats. Looking good. Maybe it's that one. Yeah? 
we are on board. It looks fantastic. Got some good seats here. Lovely window seats. Beautiful view out the window. You can see the wing over there. Okay, a little bit far away from the wing for the wing shots. Yes. Otherwise, very happy with the seating. A little space between the windows and the seats. But that's like a storage area. Nice screen. Here we are in our seats at the very back of the aircraft. Really satisfied. 63 what? J and K. J and K. Very satisfying indeed. So, have a good flight. We've got a pair of reading lights up here. A lot of personal fans. Models on the bathroom. I put my rubbish there. It's a rubbish bag. What if you need to use it? Oh, we're not just. Looks <laughs> like refueling is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Would you please be so kind to close your luggage bins or help my colleagues with the closing of them? Because they're rather heavy. So thank you for your cooperation. The aircraft's not totally full. According to the captain, we're allowed to move seats off the table. I'm allowed to do it before, because of the way back. So here's a little presentation of the blankets and pillows you receive on board this TLM flight to Amsterdam from Kuala Lumpur. I could ask Maro to open my bag up so we can have a closer look at the blanket quality. It comes on a little plastic bag as usual. A bit of fleece. This kind of quality. This is big enough also. Not a big, yeah, it's a nice big blanket. And a pillow. It looks just fine. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's quite comfy. And it's a whole lot of good movies. The latest releases. Looks like we could have a lot of fun. It's not a touch screen. At least I don't think it is. No? Everything is operated with the joystick. Or controller. Controller. Got a fine section where it has the studio's calling button. You play games, obviously the PlayStation Sega-like controller is available on the backside, and it's also a telephone as far as I know, where you would slide the credit card through the slot here on the side to pay for your call. I would almost imagine that to pay for your Wi-Fi you would probably pay through the credit card here too. It doesn't look like there's any USB charger, is it? I don't see any USB charger. Looks like they're still loading some luggage down there. 10 past 11 on the old trusted Pulsar watch. And we're supposed to be leaving what time, Maro? 23.30. 23.30. So it looks like we're on time. No flying pants today. As we came from Kusamui, it was hot as hell. So I'm barefooted. My flip flops are down there. Maro is also in her shorts. Flops too, and she's got good leg room there. <laughs> so at the very back of the aircraft, my leg room is fine also. Thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening. The captain, my name is Kipperman. Welcome aboard. It is now five minutes before our scheduled departure time. We're almost ready for departure. However, we're still loading some luggage. And it will take about uh, five to ten minutes from now. After that, we'll start our engines and commence our flight to Amsterdam. And the flight time today is 12 hours and 11 minutes. For this moment, I wish you a pleasant flight. Well, this is where we are. That's where we're going. Seems like at the Chinese menu. Yeah, it's not the best mapping system because I don't have any control of it and it's written in Chinese. I didn't see any function to choose English. I'm sure there is a function. Oh, now I've got it in English. And push back started. We're on our way. Cabin crew, our flights. Good evening, my name is René Kwak. Ik ben op deze vlucht naar Amsterdam uw beurs en mijn collega vandaag in 11 minuten bedragen en zoals u merkt zijn wij gereed voor vertrekking. Zo dadelijk laten wij een film.
Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Renee Clark and I'm your person on this flight to Amsterdam. My colleague flying time tonight will be 12 hours and 11 minutes. And as you've noticed, we are ready for departure. In a few moments, we'll show you a video about the safety procedures on board. And on behalf of KLM and the SkyTeam partners, we wish you a very pleasant
fits it and the little adapter. So you sort of open them up for us. You can have a look. While you open that, I'll just zoom in on the adapter here. It's going to be connecting into that connection. We should be able to put our own headsets into this thing. So I'd rather use my own yeah, headset. It tightly enough on the air and you can't hear very much. We'll try again for the sake of our viewers. Good job. Very nerdy. But cool at the same time. So while we are explaining the headset over here, the steward came around and gave us this lovely little package. Good night goodies. KLM. It's a little kit with must be some kind of refreshing towel. Yeah, let me open it. You can actually see what it is. Normally I'm chasing Maro here because she can't open the stuff fast enough. So hopefully I can do this also. Let's see. Got a toothbrush. Looks like a little toothpaste over here. That has to be a refreshing towel. Doesn't feel cold though. I'm sure it's refreshing. Got some um, earplugs. Sure, they're useful. And of course, got some eye patches. I think they're called eye patches. Eye shades. Very nice little kit. We didn't actually get that on the Air France, which is the same company. And then, this looks like a little welcoming cookie. Would that be right? Cashew nuts, they're not cookies. A little kit of cashew nuts. Then, to chop this blender off, we've got a lovely little bottle of water. Thonne. Maro had just bought a bottle of water at Kuala Lumpur Airport. But then we had to go through security again and had to give away the water. It was nice that we get such a little water so soon into the flight. Sometimes it takes ages and you're dying of thirst before you get anything to drink. Good show, Kaelin. Very nice presentation. This little welcoming gesture. Here goes the drinks way. We're just about to go to the toilet, but the it's dinner show has started. started. It's started already. Thank you. Nice water. Very good. Present us with uh, meal step by step. Yeah, we have a starter salad. A bit shadow from mine. I'm going to zoom with the camera. What kind of salad is that? Yeah, it's looking like a grated, grated vegetables. At least carrot and something, tomato. Right. So it's a starter, main course. Main course. Some kind of a what is that? A tortilla. Oops. And a lot of turbulence, I'm just really holding on to my spray. Going. 
Okay, for now, kind of wine this. This is Sauvignon Blanc Chardonnay. It's called the Elements by Julian Shaw. Oh, South African. Right now, I'm thinking about turbulence. Well, I put my wine down Just here. make sure we don't get it in our laps. Oh, your wine's not open, is it? Yeah, there's nothing to fly. You're happy to I'm going to drink my Sprite now. So I don't get it in my lap. I can always order another drink later. Nardo showing our cutlery. Looking like plastic to me. Yeah, look at this. Let me zoom in a bit. Hold it there. A little bit better quality and harder, hard plastic. Very yeah. nice plastic and toothpick. Quality toothpick. Tasty salt and tasty pepper. Great. Uh, let's have some dinner. We'll end up with the crew serving. Once again, Maro is demonstrating the cleverest way to eat airline food. Put the bowl goes up to your mouth. That way, if there's turbulence or if you happen to drop some food, you don't have it all over your lap. Have you finished the salad? Yes. Fresh, I enjoyed it also. Yeah. Next is the the wrap. Any good? We're just saying that for the viewer's sake. Let me spicy, not nice chicken. Spicy chicken. Wash it down with some wine. I wonder how good it is then. Rather good. Must agree with Mauro. It's good. Although I would have preferred a warm meal at this time of the evening. Funny that they don't serve that. We had a good meal on our previous flight, which was Bangkok Airways. An hour and 20 minutes from Kuala, from uh, Kusamui to Kuala Lumpur. So we are full. We're not exactly starving. Tiramisu. It's missing the booze. Do I have chocolate all over my mouth? It takes so long so one can never get to the toilet or anything like that. We just got mano, we just got a tea. With a creamer. Creamer. She kept her cake. Today I don't want it. I'm pretty full. I got a coffee. And also a creamer here on the left. Just holding on to the cup again because every time we get something to drink the turbulence comes. I don't want hot coffee in my lap right now. And you can see how we're shaking up on the bottles. So now we're heading for turbulence. Fasten our seat belts. Put it down the rest of this coffee. Kind of rocky. We have shown the bath bag once, but considering the circumstances that we're going through turbulence now, I think I'm going to show it one more. Just in case, Maro needs it. <laughs> Dinner was enjoyed by both of us. It wasn't a hot meal as said, but uh, enjoyable anyway. Let's quickly have a look at the safety card for this 
Boeing 777-300. Show the 
these are wipes or perhaps not. So here we have the diaper table, the nappy changing table for the infants, babies, which folds out like this. Ah, then I can see the tissues are convenient for babies while you change them. Uh, it would be nice with some quick wipes like some other airlines have. I'm sure their parents would appreciate that, but I'm sure it's just fine. That's what it looks like with a baby folded table. That's what it looks like with me standing here. Table closed. Maro's just outside the door. So I'm gonna basically end this tour now. There's a handle by the way to hold on. So that was the Boeing 777 lavatory. Here's a little self-service kit during the flight. They can just come up and take some biscuits, mentos, cookies, whatever, drinks. It was a self-service. Help yourself to what you, you like. Toilets over here. One at the rear. With the emergency exit. basically concludes this 
tour. And it looks like we're just over halfway to Amsterdam. Almost everything. 
think I haven't had my juice, my coffee yet. We did a good job sampling it, so that we can give these reviews. I went above and beyond the call of duty. I finished everything. But let me have my juice and my coffee now. And we're turning. Crystal busy with breakfast now. I must say, I like the very much like the little Dutch touches, like on this cardboard mug, the windmills. I must say, KLM is very quick to clear away the trays, so that people who need to go to the lavatory or want to get up and stretch their legs can quickly get up again after they've eaten their meal. It's a very good service. Very much appreciated. We're somewhere over Poland at the moment. Look at those clouds down there. It's like there's a fire burning beneath them. Trail being made there. Denmark is just above us, heading for Amsterdam, where we'll catch a flight back to Copenhagen, Denmark. Somebody's waiting obediently for the toilet. It's waiting for the downward descent to start. It's all about getting the last visit to the laboratory before the descent starts because it can take a while then before you can get to the laboratory again. What a stunning view down there of the clouds.
welkom op de luchthaven Schiphol, welkom thuis. Wilt u alstublieft blijven zitten totdat de verlichting van Soeriemen vast is uitgedaan. En maak u erop attent dat bij het openen van de bagagebakken er handbagage uit kan vallen. En kijk u alstublieft nog even in de stoelzakken voor uw persoonlijke bezit. Ladies and gentlemen, welkom to Schiphol Airport, welkom to the Netherlands. Wat je please remain seated until the fasten seat zijn been switched off. And please be careful when you open the luggage bins and luggage may have shifted and could fall down. We say goodbye to you now and on behalf of the Netherlands Airlines, we wish you a very safe journey and welcome to Schiphol Airport. Thank you for flying with us. 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 Thank you for flying with us